a delightful romantic weekend has been very restful. I wouldn't say the weather is anything to write home about. It's as windy as I tried to put the drone up and all I got was uh, lots of extreme wind warning. Turn around, land now, oh, it says. Land now. I don't blame it. It's super windy. Still, it's been nice to have it some time together. Uh, Karina's found out she's uh, been invited to a conference in New York this week. So she'll be flying over for a uh, Bitcoin cryptocurrency blockchain conference thing. So it's very exciting for her. I think it's the first time she's ever gone to New York. Um, but yeah, we'll miss her. It's always tough when she's away for a while. I like her company, what can I say? So at, uh, at least we got to get spend some time together this weekend. This was supposed to be our anniversary weekend. Uh, that was actually the previous week, but um, plans didn't really work out like they should have. And uh, it's been difficult to plan things with um, family being sick and stuff too, because we weren't sure if we were going to have to go home. Uh, but, uh, I guess we're hoping that it, people will get well enough that we're able to go over and visit them, so hopefully that will work out in the long run. It just takes time, I guess. Let's just hope they've got time. Cross fingers. I suppose I should probably explain what it's all about. I know I've talked about um, family members being unwell, but basically what's happening is um, my dad's had another bout of cancer again. Um, it's not his first, he's had a terrible run for it. And um, I know we feel really bad for him that uh, his recent retirement hasn't really gone to plan. Um, but uh, unfortunately this time the bout of cancer is uh, of the kind you don't normally come back from. So um, everybody's been quite concerned for him. I know they're, they're doing what they can at the moment to make him comfortable and to hopefully give him the maximum amount of time he can have to um, I guess try and get some some enjoyment out of life uh, before it runs out so uh, that's been tough he's um they put some radioactive pellets into his liver the other week or a couple of weeks ago or a few weeks ago now and um, things didn't quite go to plan there um, uh, part of the treatment wandered off to his gallbladder and then that caused more problems and then there was a non-compliant hospital that wouldn't really uh, listen to what was going on and wouldn't deal with it properly. Um, so he had a week's worth of medication for pneumonia that wasn't actually what he had going on. Um, unfortunately that meant he deteriorated a lot more but um, hoping he's back home now and on the mends. I'll um, have to give mum a call this week when I get back from our holiday away. Oh, here comes somebody. Uh, but the other problem is my grandmother's also gotten cancer as well at the moment, so she's getting radiation, so it's really been a double whammy right now. Uh, yeah, what can you say? Uh, anyway, we're sending our best hopes and wishes for them.
before it buries us. Yeah, that sand is certainly... It would make up the beach, isn't it? <laughs> 